Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, then consider subscribing. Today's video is another subscriber question video, guys, and today this question is brought to us by myself, actually. Uh, I read a few comments a few weeks ago on a discussion that I was having uh, under one of my videos by well, several of you guys, with several of you guys, and this question popped into my head that I thought might be important to address. And the question is, do you need to fast to see autophagy? Okay, so let's break that down a little bit. Fasting would be a essentially several hours after a postprandial situation, meaning that after you've eaten let's say one, two, three hours afterwards would be kind of that beginning of that fasting phase. Some people might de define it as right after you've eaten your last bite of food, then that would be fasting. Whatever you, however you want to use it, that's fine. Just as long as it kind of meets the requirement for fasting. Now, from there, what is autophagy? And that's going to be a little bit more complex. So autophagy is a system that your cells, each individual cell in your body, uses autophagy as a cleanup process, but it does a lot more than that. It also has an incredibly complex uh, immune function as well, so it keeps your cells healthy. But that's not what we're going to be discussing in this situation. What we're discussing is its degradatory impact. So it has a cleanup process in which it breaks down broken proteins. And while smaller broken proteins can be taken up by what's called the proteasome, which is a smaller network, a smaller system to break down uh, proteins into their smaller parts, into their uh, constituent parts, uh, the autophagy system uses kind of a vesicle system, which, which wraps itself around uh, broken organelles, dying organelles, organelles, damaged uh, systems. It can be the mitochondria, it can be different uh, other vesicles, movement vesicles that allow things to move from inside the cell to outside the cell or from outside the cell to inside the cell. Whatever is kind of more monstrous, larger, um, will be enveloped into this uh, membrane bound sac and then something will bind to it called the lysosome and at that point you go from what's called the autophagosome plus the lysosome and then you actually have uh, this fully developed autophagy unit and this autophagy unit because the lysosome binds to it releases a bunch of chemicals and I'll leave it at that for the chemicals uh, but it does a variety of different things but it certainly breaks down uh, those proteins so it's massively speeds up the reaction of breaking down that damaged organelle. Now you would want that for a number of different reasons. One, because it keeps your cells alive, it keeps them functioning as they should be, uh, and also just because it's an efficient process. It's a process by which, especially in your muscle cells, if you have broken proteins, you wanna be able to get rid of those so that you're not uh, taking up space or that you're not uh, getting a, an accumulation of these different proteins that would otherwise not be useful for your cell. So there are a number of reasons, there's certainly more than that. And I mentioned the immune function as well, as well as metabolic functions and all kinds of stuff like that. So do you need to be fasting though to lead to this autophagy to occur? Answer is no, absolutely not. Um, at all points in your day, when you're asleep, when you're awake, when you're eating, when you're not eating, it doesn't matter what you're eating, you're going to see autophagy occurring. Does it fluctuate? Does it increase? Does it speed up? Do, does more autophagy occur while you're fasting? Yeah, probably that does happen. But in terms of actually initiating the, the autophagy system, that is, it is absolutely not necessary for you to be fasting for that to occur. So hopefully that clears up some things. I know during that discussion, some people were like, well, I'm just gonna fast then because it's going to you know, have the idea of initiating this autophagy system. Again, that is not the case. Hopefully that clears things up and hopefully I have the pleasure of speaking with you guys in the next one. Have a good one. See ya.